How to make a line sheet in Canva. Hi there, this is Carolyn Keating of Wholesale for Creatives, and today I'm going to show you how to make a line sheet in Canva. Canva is one of my favorite design programs because you don't need to learn a lot about some crazy new program in order to make beautiful graphics and products for your business uh, quickly and easily. Canva is 100% free. And you can really make all these different products for your business, whether it's postcards or line sheets or different kind of um, social media graphics. You can do them all for free inside of Canva. So today I'm going to show you how to make a line sheet. So first we're going to start by opening up your Canva dashboard. If you haven't already signed up for a free Canva account, all you have to do is go to canva.com and put in your information. It takes about two seconds and you will be able to get started. So once you are inside your dashboard, you're going to want to create a new design. So what I want you to do is click on more and I want you to scroll down to documents and look at US letter. It's that standard eight and a half by 11 page size. So if you wanted to do it the other way and switch the landscape, make it 11 by eight and a half, you can easily do that by going to use a custom dimensions. But for this purpose, we are going to open a new letter document. So once you have your new document open, we are gonna to go to elements and we're gonna to wanna to go to frames. This will allow you to easily drag and drop your images into your line sheet. So you'll see there's a bunch of different images here. Um, you can pick the shape that you want. So for the purpose of this, I am just going to start with some basic kind of square shapes. Um, set that up and now I'm just gonna copy it because I want all of them to be uniform. You'll see as you're designing that these little grids kind of pop up so you can make sure that your designs are in line. Let's say I wanted to do and you can always move your graphics around So we can start there. Now also notice down here in the corner, this is about the size of your page viewing wise. So you're viewing it at about 50%. Um, you can change this to zoom in a little bit or to kind of look at it as a more true to scale. But I've dragged this in and now I'm gonna wanna go and add some text. So gonna bring this to the top and I'm gonna include my category name. So as you'll notice, I've uploaded some stock photos that I'm gonna use for this tutorial. So for this, I'm gonna call my collection Pil Velvet Pillows. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that font. You'll see inside I have some specialty fonts that I have uploaded. The free version of Canva does not allow you to upload your own fonts. Um, but if you do have Canva for work, that is one of the benefits. So I'm just going to go with something super basic right now. And I'm going to increase the size. I don't love the font, but for the time being, it does what it needs to do. So I also want to include more text. Because I want to add some information. By 20 pillows made in the U.S. A. You can adjust that. So you'll notice again the font size is over here. You can play with the placement where you want it to fall. Um, I'm going to actually copy this field right here so I can type some more. I'm going to say minimum six per style. Let's in parentheses do it. Maybe italicize it. And then I am going to look at my images. I'm just going to drop a couple images in quickly. So you'll see that when you, oops, sometimes you got to hover, it'll just pop right in there. 
Now, when you drag and drop, you do have the ability to kind of different sizes of the image. I don't like that, so it'll just revert back. You can crop if the image is croppable. Um, there's a lot of different ways to play with it. I'm not going to go through all of the Canva specifics because there are so many other tutorials out there that kind of do Canva 101 for you. And Canva itself has a really great help section that you can get answers for um, some of your most pressing questions. So we're just going to just drop in a couple of more, a couple more images there. All right, so maybe I'm looking at this and I'm not loving the scale. They seem a little small. I want to make them a little bigger. So now the placement's off. So you want to kind of shift and move things. You want it to look very cohesive, but you also want to keep it really clean. Um, line sheets are not meant to be super fancy pants. It really is meant for your products to showcase themselves so your buyers can easily get the information about them and decide what they're going to buy and then put pen to paper and give you that order. So you're also going to want the item information. This is really important because if you just send them different color pillows and for instance, if someone got this and it said gray, do you know if they're talking about the light gray or the dark gray? There's two grays on here. So you really want to have things like your item number, uh, a color code if you're using that or if you don't have an item, you can just call it by its color code. You can call it pink pillow. Um, the costing information, the MSRP, all of these things are super important to have on your line sheet. So you would want to type those in, copy, paste, line everything up, make the adjustment, and change it for each one. So I love Canva because you really can make these line sheets your own and get create as creative as you want. Now that said, I've also created a set of Canva line sheet templates and added them to the, make it, the Maker Marketplace for you to check out and really just streamline this process even more. So inside the Marketplace, there, there's going to be um, one major template and it's broken down into two parts. So you'll have some horizontal line sheet templates, you'll have vertical templates. Um, and it really is just meant, again, to streamline this process and make your life a little bit easier. I know that as a product-based business owner, you are wearing all the hats. And as fun as it can be to design and create your own line sheets, they can also be a really big time suck. So I've gone ahead and created a series of templates. So I'm just going to show you one of them. And you'll see that I've really included all of the important information for you already. So if you were to be designing with this template, it'd be really easy for you to just drag and drop your items without having to set anything up. And then you can literally just plug in your information as you're going, you know, the costs, the MSRPs, your case pack, your product category names, your important contact information, the minimums. And again, it'll just really streamline the time that you have to take out of your day to make these. Um, this is also really helpful if maybe you're just starting to explore wholesale and you're not really sure what needs to go on a line sheet or someone says, do you have a line sheet and you want to look professional? So you say, yeah, I do. I'll get that over to you really quickly. Um, and now you have to make one from scratch. So this is going to really just make life so much easier. So I will link below to the Maker Marketplace templates. So if you want to check them out, you can. And with the templates, you also have more instructional how-to videos, how to best utilize them, and more in-depth information about line sheets, including why you need them, that full checklist of everything you should be including with your line sheets, and common FAQs when it comes to designing your line sheets and designing your line sheets in Canva. So I hope you found this super, super helpful, and I cannot wait to see your line sheets in action. Um, so please tag Wholesale for Creatives, uh, as you're sharing them in all the places on social media, I would love to check them out.